Happy Tuesday. I gotta be quick. I gotta get to the VTH. But yesterday, um, Kristen asked me for a favor. Yeah, how you doing, Kristen? She asked me for a favor concerning Derek at Derek's Garage, a guy I've known for quite some time on here. Hey, Derek, do you still have that old? Let me know. Um, anyway, she got in touch with me yesterday. Hey, Brian, do me a favor. Tomorrow's Derek's birthday. Could you give him a little shout out for his birthday? I said, no problem. And I told you I was going to do it. And I'm going to do it. Unlike other people here, they say they're going to do shit. They don't fucking do it. You know what I mean? That's why I'm Uncle Brian and they're not. <laughs> I'm in a good mood for now, but I'm not going to be in a few minutes when I get to the second part of this concerning something. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to wish Derek a happy birthday. And at the same time, I get to show off my world famous Uncle Brian singing skills, but I'm not bragging. Those of you that have known me for a while and you heard my Uncle Sanford's Greatest Hits Collections, Volume 1, 2, and 3, that I won three Grammys for. But I'm not bragging. Now that I think about it, with some of my new, newly acquired buddies on here, I'm feeling a little bit of inspiration to do another Greatest Hits Collection series with some other people. Before I do that, I'm going to reach out to my 15, yes, 15, but I'm not bragging. 15 loyal, faithful, loving, trusting, devoted Uncle Brian groupies. I'll ask your opinion. Do you think Uncle Brian should come out of my singing, self-imposed singing retirement and start doing other greatest hits collections for some of my buddies? I know off the top of my head a few songs come to mind. Anyway, let me know. Do you think I should make more Greatest Hits collections for my other buddies besides Sanford. I already, I already dealt with his Greatest Hits songs that I wrote, produced, and sang myself. But I'm not bragging. What do you think? Yes or no? Yes, should I come out of retirement and write some more great music, but I'm not bragging? Or no, don't. I'll leave it up to you. Whatever you say is what I'll do, okay? And I will go through with it either way. Uh, so anyway, here we go. Ready? <clears throat> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Derek at Derek's Garage. See the way I dropped that down an octave? Am I good or what, huh? But I'm not bragging. Happy birthday to you. Have a great birthday, Derek. Uh, <laughs> you too, Krista. Anytime you need a favor, man, you know how to get in touch with me. You know, don't hesitate. Unless there's something so fucking outrageous, you know. But you guys seem pretty level-headed, you know. So, uh, anyway, now I get something else. I'm doing this because somebody else hasn't done it. Hasn't ever done it from day one. You know. I got a real soft spot in my heart for kids. You don't fuck with kids. You don't fuck with women. You know. I'm a father and a grandfather. And I have two daughters. And I had a wife, I had aunt, I have Auntie Billy. I had my sister before she passed in March of last year. I had a mother, so so passed. So I got a little soft spot in my heart. You don't, you don't take advantage of women and children. You don't use them, manipulate them for any personal self gain. You know what I mean? That bothers me. And this whole thing with the Save the Children 318 with this fucking old white diaper wearing piece of shit, buzzard, scumbag. Crip Keeper. Um, what, a year and a half now? He hasn't done shit. You know, Sandy hasn't done shit. He's not going to do shit. He's too, that fat fuck is too busy now trying to sell fucking t-shirts with his truck on it, you know? Sanford, forget about him. Sanford's as useless as tits on his titty nipples. And, uh, long time coming. The only guy doing something is that Guy in Florida, I didn't even know what his name was. Somebody told me it's Charles or something. From now on, he's Charlie the Tuna. I'm calling him Charlie the Tuna. Somebody even said, hey, Brian, why is that guy even wasting his time? He fucked around for months and months with some 318 heads and no, it ain't going to work now. He's on to some other heads. So why is he even doing that? There will never be 
an engine block that's prepared, <laughs> you know, that has a crank in it, rods, pistons, ready to have heads bolted to it. That's never going to happen. Why is he doing it? He's wasting his time. And I said, well, you know what? Maybe he's in on this bullshit, too. All these guys, you know, go sub his channel, support it. They're going to support everybody's channel so they can make fucking money. And I said, I'm thinking, no, maybe he's on this whole fucking scam, too. You know, it's all like spinoffs. Something starts at one channel, it works its way to other channels, hoping all the interest gets bounced on down the line. They'll get subs and views to build their fucking channels. I got a feeling Charlie the Tuna's in on this bullshit, too. Trying to build his channel with a spinoff series of the Marvel Mystery Oil Mission something, Save the Children 3 t whatever the fuck they're calling it. So we said, oh, the Crib Keeper said he's going to do an update on it. Yeah, you keep fucking waiting, you know. Uh, you keep fucking waiting. Anthony Billy's fucking yakking. You keep fucking waiting. So since he won't mention anything, since he's never once done what I've done a few times already, and I'm going to do it again now, since he still doesn't mention and tell people to support St. Jude's directly. Instead of telling him, sub my channel, watch my videos, support my channel, support my channel. Hey, you old diaper-wearing motherfucker, why don't you tell him people to support St. Jude's? Since you fucking care so much. Who the hell is she talking to? She says, what you do? Since you assholes know how to come on here, you know, you know how to find... These fucking assholes, you know, channels to watch them. Just as easy to go on Google and type St. Jude's. Get a whole fucking page. You get all the information you need. Do this on my laptop so you can see my phone. Get all the information you need. You can do it online. You can call and speak to someone. You know? Hey, Crip Keeper. I hear you doing a shit. What a fucking light. What, you're going to be doing a new series of live streams now? So what? Last I heard you were talking about air filters. Nothing about St. Jude's. You're not telling people, hey, you know, support St. Jude's. Call. Go online. You can do it online. You can do it on a phone call. All the information is there. Like I just told you, and I think I've done it about four or five times in the past. Since the Crypt Keeper don't want to fucking do it. All we can talk about is sub my channel and watch my videos. Sorry, sack of shit. Using these fucking kids to build your channel. You're fucking pathetic. I do get a little worked up at this. And you... You know, at times, side of me that's not very pretty comes out. Like I say, me to crawl, because, you know, we're always nice until it's time to not be nice. When it's time to not be nice, the side of us comes out that's not pretty, and some people don't like it. In their cases, they have to deal with me and them in a whole different way face-to-face. -face. You guys are lucky. You only have to deal with me looking at me through a screen, and I'm not in your fucking face, face-to-face. -face. Then I'm a man of few words. Is that saying action speaks louder than words? Very true. That would leave a lasting memory on you. You would remember long after you've forgotten my words that you didn't take serious and you should have. Not once have you took call support changes. You know? Make a one time contribution. You motherfuckers that are going to your fucking heroes, you know, live streams and giving them five, ten dollars, give it to St. Jude's. If you really want to help those kids, I do. And I'm not the only one that does what I do. Some do more than I do. We all do what's within our budget, what we can afford. You don't have to have an ongoing monthly debit, auto pay. I've been doing it for 14, 15, 14, 15 years, somewhere around there. It's going to go on to the day I die. I have mine set up. It's indefinite. It stops when I make a phone call or I go online and I say I want it to stop. Stop deb debiting my bank account every month. I don't see myself doing that until the day I die. I give to St. Jude's every month. I give to Shriners. I give to wounded warriors, my brothers in arms, brothers and sisters in arms. And I give to the ASPCA. I give each one $50 a month. Believe me, I can find ways of blowing 200 bucks a month like nothing. Not even miss it. It's been as stupid as I have at times. But you know what? In my case, it's within my means. 
but I know this $200 a month is going to four very worthy causes. You know, you don't have to do that. You can do it one time, buy 10 bucks. The money I give into these fucking con men on here in their live streams for the pleasure of having them give you a shout out. Oh, thank you for the $10. Thank you for the $5. So they can mention your fucking name. Make you feel good about yourself. Hey, look, he mentioned my name. I'm special. Yeah. Now you got to pay for his fucking attention too. That's all they want from you, your fucking money. When they see your names pop up on screens, you know, telling them how fucking great they are. Hey, you're the best, you're that. You know what they see in you? They don't. All they see are fucking dollar signs. It's all they see in you, fucking dollar signs. Give five, ten dollars a month. Give it just one time. Will that kill you? Will that kill you? I've, I've talked about this at least at least five times now. Probably more over the last, you know, couple of years. This Crypt Keeper's never done it. Never will do it. The only thing you're going to hear from him is sub my channel, watch my video, share my channel. That's all you're going to hear from the Crypt Keeper. I'm asking you to help St. Jude's. You don't need him. You don't need a promise of a fucking 318 engine. You don't need nothing from him. You can do it yourself. Pick up the phone, go online, do what you are able to do. That's within your means, within your budget. Is that too much to ask of all of you? Have a great day, have fun, and stay safe. And once again, Derek, happy birthday, bro. Hope you and Kristen ever have a good day today.